Good morning, GMS. I'm Davion. And I'm Kate. Welcome to GMS News Show for the week of December 14th. Students, remember to wear your mask. You need to have your mouth and nose covered at all times. This includes when talking to your friends. Thank you for understanding and cooperation. A reminder, GMS students, the second nine weeks ends on December 18th. Remember to get all your grades in line as the 2F rule applies to all winter and spring sports. The annual GMS canned food drive is underway. You may bring any donations to your pride teacher. Donations can be dropped off in the main entrance, entrance between 8.30 and 2.30 all this week. All donations will go to the Salvation Army Food Pantry down in, in downtown Greenwood. If your family is in need of Christmas assistance, email or call our student advisor, Mrs. McGuire. The 2020-21 GMS yearbooks are still on sale. Go to, go to www yearbookforever.com to order yours today. The price will be going up, so lock the, in the savings now. Winter break begins this Friday. There will be no hybrid or e-learning from December 21st through January 4th. Students will return to school on Tuesday, January 5th. Have a happy and safe holiday break, GMS. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Allie here with Athletic Director and Dean of Behavior, Mr. Harker. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good morning. Good morning, GMS. <laughs> um, I feel <laughs> nervous. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Don't be nervous. Uh, uh, my name is David Harker. Um, I'm the Dean and Athletic Director here at the middle school. This is my 10th or 11th year at Greenwood Middle School. Um, I used to teach eighth grade uh, before I became the uh, Dean and Athletic Director. Um, I did that for um, six, six years uh, uh, before moving into this role. Um, I'm from Indianapolis, just north of Greenwood. I've uh, lived here my whole life in, in, uh, in Indiana, in Indianapolis specifically. Uh, uh, I like to uh, uh, watch sports. Uh, I like to read. I like to spend time outdoors. Um, what else you want to know? Can you describe all your jobs here at GMS? Uh, sure. I've got... Uh, a lot of uh, different hats I wear. Uh, how's that for a metaphor? Um, I am the athletic director, so my job is to support our athletes and coaches and teams. Um, I make the schedules. Uh, I supervise the events. I make sure that we have all the uh, equipment we need. Um, and uh, I just kind of uh, support that on a regular basis in working with our coaches closely. Um, and, and then on the other side of things, I'm the Dean of uh, Behavior or Dean of Students here at the middle school where um, lots of times I handle some of the uh, disciplinary action for uh, your classmates who sometimes make poor decisions. And I would say that uh, that happens um, Sparingly, uh, thankfully, but, uh, but uh, on a regular basis, I think it's uh, kind of expected for middle schoolers to sometimes be making some poor decisions. So I try and uh, help them out with that and uh, provide some consequences, communicate with their parents and, and uh, help them work through that so they don't make the same mistake twice, right? What do you think about the hybrid change? Oh, I, I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't know that anybody would, uh, you know, on any other year want to do a hybrid schedule. But I also understand that we've got to do things to keep teachers and students safe. Um, at this point, the health department's telling us that's what it is. So uh, we make the best of it. And I hope that I can support uh, students and teachers the best I can to to make the best of things and to get the most out of their time here at GMS and then their time at home. What is your favorite season and why? Uh, you've asked me that question before and I can't remember what I said. I think there's a specific answer. I love all the seasons, but I think um, uh, 
fall, specifically autumn, the early fall is my favorite season. When the leaves start changing, the colors on the leaves here in Indiana and other parts of the country, it's the most beautiful time to spend outside and do activities and just see all of nature, right? Yeah. What's your favorite? I asked you this. What's your favorite season? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I you don't have one? Not in particular. I think if I had to say it would be summer because I like water parks and no school. So <laughs> I don't know. That's a good answer. <laughs> what was your best subject in school? Uh, what subject do you think that I taught? You want to take a guess? Um, maybe math I just I don't know oh that's uh, I I was never much of a gr uh, great math student I worked really hard in math to try and get a good grade but uh, it never came natural to me I was an English teacher a language arts teacher so that was always my best subject growing up in school I love to read uh, I love to write I love to uh, talk about what I read um, I think that it's really important in understanding what you think whether it's about you know, news or politics or fiction or a certain subject or even uh, reading to learn. Like if you don't know how to do something, reading to try and figure it out is like a, a really important thing. And I, I like to do that as well. So I was always stronger in, in uh, language arts. Well, thank you for coming on our show today, Mr. Harker. Have a great week. Hey, thank you so much for ha having me, Allie. Have a great day. You too. Are you awake yet? No. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in the interview. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Have a great day, Allie. You did great. Okay. You too. That's pretty good for just coming in cold. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, both interviews, I had a great time talking to you. So this has been really fun. Okay, good. I'll see you later. Have a great day, okay. Alec. Bye. Bye. Hello. Welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lily, and let's get started with number three. A carved figure in the facade of a Spanish building is going viral on social media after an apparent botched restoration that left the figure's face unrecognizable. The carving, which adorns an early 20th century building in Palencia, formerly featured a woman smiling next to some livestock, but a recent restoration effort left the woman's face severely deformed. The people of the town were outraged until they saw the statue and decided to share it on social media. How would you feel if this, if this happened to a statue of you? Number two, Brenda Van Sickle was a mother at the age of 16. She wanted what was best for her baby, so she put him up for adoption. And finally, after 45 years, she got a call from her son who found her through DNA testing. Her son's name was Wes Finner, and he worked for a major bank in New Orleans. After talking to Brenda for a few weeks, Finner flew to North Texas to meet her by a pond. She says the first words he said to her were, Mom, it's me. Number one, a South Carolina woman whose dogs made a ruckus at her front door looked outside to discover an unusual visitor on the porch, an alligator. Robin Schnussel said she was working from her home office when her dogs started barking enthusiastically at her front door. Schnessel said she looked outside and was shocked to see an alligator at her front door. Schnessel called the South, Dakota, South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, but she decided not to request a trapper when she was told that al the alligator would be killed. She said she decided to just wait, and eventually the gator left on its own after more than an hour on her porch. Very appropriate for 2020. It was crazy, scary, and ridiculous all at the same time, she said of the experience. Thanks, have a great week, everybody. Hello, Greenwood Middle School students. I am here with four of our student council members. We have Eva, Hannah, Annie, and Zoe, and they're gonna to talk to us about the annual Greenwood Can Food Drive. Uh, first, would you ladies like to tell me a little bit about yourself, Eva? Um, I am Eva, I'm in the eighth grade. I'm on the cheer team here at GMS, and one of my favorite hobbies is knitting. Anna? I am 
Hannah. I'm in the eighth grade. I'm a part of the student council and I was on the dance team last year. And Annie? Uh, I ran cross country and I like to research rats and carve sandstone. And Zoe. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm in the seventh grade. I was a previous Mrs. Can for the Can Food Drive and one of my favorite hobbies is running. So when she says that she was a previous Mrs. Can, that means that she brought in more cans last year than any other girl in the entire middle school. So she did a lot of, you know, helping out the community last year. So I'm excited that she was able to join us. So first, uh, Eva, can you tell us a little bit about what is the Greenwood Canned Food Drive? The Greenwood Canned Food Drive is an annual event where students and staff members bring in canned food and non-perishable food items um, that can be donated into the Salvation Army's food bank. Okay. Hannah, if students want to donate here at Greenwood Middle School, how do they go about doing that? Okay, so the students can go about donating anything from cans to boxed items, and they can just drop them off at their pride teacher or, or the, at the office throughout the day. Good. Annie, if there are members in the community or people that maybe aren't Greenwood Middle School students and they would like to participate and donate, how could they do that? Donations can also be dropped off in the main entrance between 8.30 and 2.30, Monday to Friday. Okay. So if anybody is interested in the community, they can just stop by the middle school, you just walk up to the main office in the doorway, and you can drop them off just inside the main doors um, if you would like to, you know, donate to the community. Uh, finally, Zoe, if, you know, you want to help out the community, we know times are really tough right now for a lot of different people. And if you would like to help out, but maybe you don't have, you know, food or money to donate, how could you participate in helping out the community this holiday season? Well, as pandemic times are hard, there are many places where you can go and help out. Um, you can go to your local food pantry and go help out there. Animal shelters, churches, there are many ways you can help out our community in these rough times. I appreciate it. Those are all great ideas. I thank you all four for being with me today and have a great day, everybody. Hey, welcome back to the GMO Sports and I'm Elijah Martin. On Monday, December 14th, sixth grade boys basketball away at Indian Creek Middle School at 5 p.m. On se seventh grade boys basketball at home versus Decatur Middle School at 5.30 p.m. Eighth grade boys basketball is away at Decatur Middle School at 5.30 p.m. On Tuesday, December 15th, seventh grade boys basketball is away at Paul Hadley Middle School at 5.30 p.m. Eighth grade boys basketball at home versus Paul Hadley Middle School at 5.30 p.m. On Wednesday, December 16th, sixth grade boys basketball home versus Beach Grove Middle School at 5 p.m. That's all for GMS Sports.